Hello! You have joined The Script Mistress for Scene 18, Interview with December's winner, Joni Mitchell. I am your host, Amber Bosworth, and I'm so excited to bring you this episode. I had such a great time talking with Joni. Joni was one of over 30 writers that were tasked with the writing of a new script based on an image prompt. Since it was December, I really wanted to have an image that would have the spirit of togetherness without making it more about the holiday season. So it was really amazing, and and we'll kind of talk about it. You hear a couple of examples, but it was amazing, all the writers that we had and all the different genres and all the different things they had from just this um, photo of a banquet table and six hands toasting. So you don't see anybody, but it looks like they have wine, but, you know, colored drinks. Um, Joni wrote... Six Hungry Friends, the logline, when six friends join for a feast, they must agree on a topic for a toast before anyone can eat. It was so silly. It was so amazing. I I really loved it. And and you'll hear Joni kind of be surprised that she won. Um, But sometimes those those scripts are the best. And when we don't think we've done really well, uh, those are usually the best. Um, So I really hope you enjoyed the interview. It was really great. I found that I had many things in common with Joni, a lot of our own writing styles, and you just will have to keep listening to hear what we have in common and what great tips she has for you as a writer as well. Now, just let you know, Joni didn't want to be on video, so you just did get to see my face. If you're going to watch this as well as listen, you can head on over to uh, the webpage, thescriptmistress.com forward slash scene 1818. And you can watch that, (laughs) the intro, and kind of hear her, not really see our faces. Uh, So this one is definitely more for the listening pleasure, Um, but it was so much fun. And so here you go, computer. So Joni, thank you so much for joining me for the episode. Yeah, happy to be here. Yay, so excited to get you on here. And just want to tell everybody that Joni Mitchell won our December uh, Ink to Screen Challenge. Um, Her script called Six Hungry Friends with the logline of when six friends join for a feast, they must agree on a topic for a toast before anyone can eat. (laughs) (laughs) It was very fun right away. I loved the logline. I love that you guys work on that and I really enjoy it. I'm like, oh, I got to read this now. So so thank you. Besides the logline, tell us a little bit more about the script. Um, so it, it, it's very silly. Um, I was actually surprised that I won because I felt like it was one of the silliest ones that I've turned in for these competitions. Um, but with the picture, it was of, you know, I don't know if you post that on there, but, um, it I was will. Of yeah, everyone they, they'll get to see like, it. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. And so it was everyone toasting and, um, I was just trying, I instantly had the idea of like 12 angry men. Um, and so I thought, wouldn't it be interesting because, you know, a lot of times when you have gatherings like that, you have arguments, but I wanted to make it a lot more lighthearted than that. So the silliest thing I could think of was that they just had to agree on what to make this toast about. And so I just kind of ran with it and yeah, it, as you saw, it got very silly. (laughs) No, I love that. And I think, I think that just goes to show, I think, um, even Joseph, who's won a couple and, um, and Haley on these two, it's like, usually it's, they're, they're like, really like this one it's, and it's kind of like when you kind of let go a little bit and you're just like, yeah. just having fun and that really like shows in your writing. So that, that was, um, really evident in it. And that's kind of why, that's why you got it. Yeah. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So what inspired, well, obviously the 12 anger men, I really liked that. Um, was there, was there anything else? I know um, the prompt kind of had, you know, t- you know, six people toasting over a, a covered or a, um, a meal, a meal right. or anything like that. Yes. Was there anything else or? Uh, no, it was mostly just, I just wanted to avoid the, you know, cliche, like mm. drama situation or, <laughs> you know, heartfelt because it was close to Christmas too, you know, and. <laughs> So a lot of what I was watching and reading and stuff, it was, it was a lot of, you know, feel good, you know, emotional stuff. And so I just kind of wanted 
to take the idea of something, you know, emotional, like an argument, mm-hmm. but, but, but be more, you know, lighthearted with it and silly where it was something that really genuinely didn't matter mm-hmm. and, and make these people really care about it mm-hmm. <clears throat> because they're just hungry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, and, um, I think in anybody, like, um, I probably mentioned it this in the beginning and I'll mention it again at the end, but you can definitely go and read Joni's script at, uh, the scriptmistress.com forward slash ink winners. And you can kind of read it. Like, even though you had the silliness, you had like each character had a motivation and it was very simple. Right. They were hungry or they really wanted a good toast. They wanted, right. you know, to um, celebrate that, you know, the, kind of that routine with the, with each other. So, um, right. so you that was awesome. And a lot of scripts that kind of go for that sentimentality or anything like that kind of miss out on um, the motivation. And that's where right. the, you lose them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Joni, uh, so tell us a little bit more about you and your screenwriting journey. Um, what got you started? Uh, uh, where, where do you find yourself now? So I'm one of the many people who has done the New York City Midnight. That's That was how I started. I think it was um, 2017, if I'm not mistaken, that I started uh, doing those competitions. And that was kind of, you know, the fact that they have their little... Um, guide that kind of teaches you a little bit and I've written prose for for many many years um but then after writing my first screenplay which I did terrible with um but I started studying more screenplays and reading books on it and just fell in love with the you know the format Mm -hmm. and and the structure of it because it is so much different than prose Mm -hmm. um and then actual films themselves you know I've always loved films and kind of wanted to be a part of filmmaking in some capacity or another. Um, so, and, and I've started doing that. I've won a couple of smaller competitions um, throughout these years. And then I have made a couple of short films. Um, oh. And the, yeah, those have won a couple of uh, competitions at the Kansas City Film Festival. Hmm. So yeah, so now I'm, I'm leaning more into the trying to make most of what I write. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but then I still like when I get prompts, I know there's been some for years where I get a prompt and I immediately, I'm like, well, I'm, I would never be able to make this one. Cause I think one, I had a car crash in, you know, right. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just let your imagination go wild, but uh, the ultimate goal is to build up and actually make my own feature length film. So that's, yeah. that's the, the plan and the hope for later this mm-hmm. year, but we'll see. <laughs> no, that, that, that's amazing. And I think more and more now we're able to do that no matter where you are, you don't have to be um, in, in California or New York and you can right. yourself because that's the goal is to see your stuff either in screen or on the stage or, you know, whatever medium um, or in a book, but for us, exactly. we, want to, we want to see it performed and interpreted. Yes. Yeah. So besides, yes, I love the New York City Midnight. Yep, that was a huge thing. What inspired Ink to Screen, of course. I don't, I don't keep that a secret whatsoever. I stole it, but I wanted, you know, create a little bit, a little bit less um, rules. <laughs> right. Well, and it's more affordable and more often. I mean, that was, you know, how we ran across yours. You know, mm-hmm. it was because I've met some people on the New York City Midnight forums and we've become friends and, you know, so I have little small writers groups and then, you know, people are like, oh, did you hear about this one? You know, because we're always hunting for, you know, things because yes, we can just sit and write on our own, but it's so, it just sparks creativity when you get a prompt and you have a deadline and you paid money. So you want to make that deadline, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and it just motivates you to do a way more than you would without the competitions, I think. Oh, I absolutely agree. And that's, and that's why I did it. I'm like, I just wish there was something, I wish somebody would do it so I could do it. <laughs> like, So mm-hmm. I have it more often. So I'm like, it's gotta be other people that would like this too. So awesome. So what were, um, what, what other things helped you with your writing as you were just beginning um, besides like the, the, from the New York city midnight? So I've, I've read tons of books. Um, the screenwriter's Bible, of course, was, yes. <laughs> you know, one of the, one of the very first ones that I got. Um, and then I watched a lot of, uh, YouTube videos too. 
Uh, there are some for filmmaking and then also some for writing. Mm -hmm. I've done master class and every writer that's on there, you know, they have some that do film. And then there's even some that are like showrunners, like Shonda Rhimes and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I have taken everyone related to writing or TV and film wow. a couple of times. So <laughs> it, it's very, very helpful though. It's, you learn a whole lot from, I mean, they have Judd Apatow and, you know, yeah. Spike Lee and all these amazing people on there. So in, in this day and age, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of money and go to college when, you know, for an affordable price, it's all right at your fingertips. Yes. I actually, I think the last, last time I did it, what I had a couple of prizes where I gave somebody like a, a thing to the master class. Um, yeah. So that that's they can, awesome. Yeah. To learn a little bit more. Cause I, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, don't need to get a master's degree or go through all that. Exactly. And there's so much resources out there for you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, describe a little bit about your screenwriting, like mindset or techniques as it looks uh, now, now that you've won some and you, you know, you, you kind of have it settled. Gotcha. So I am the type that I need pen and paper. Um, I have notebooks all over my house um, mm -hmm. and pens yes. and I have to start that way. I have mm -hmm. to, I cannot sit and just stare at a blank screen uh -huh. and then start typing until I have some, you know, sometimes it's an outline. Sometimes yeah, it's mm -hmm. not. Sometimes it's, it's an, an entire scene and then I'll kind of, you know, work around that. Um, but I have to know the ending before I sit down at the computer, because if I don't, I will, I can write 200 pages and it never mm -hmm. go anywhere. Right, I have yeah. to have somewhere that I'm heading, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's sort of my process. And then once I have, you know, at least something to work with and know what my ending is, then I can usually sit down at the computer and, but I have been known to use, I have note cards mm -hmm. and a court board. So sometimes I'll do that too, you know, just for like character details or, you know, just to even sometimes keep track of characters because yeah. if there's a lot of them, you know, it can get confusing and having the wrong character say something. Mm -hmm. I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like nope that's the wrong person saying that word <laughs> right <laughs> so but yeah so that's that's kind of how I do it I know everybody's very different but mm -hmm. that's the only thing that works for me I've figured out no you're exactly like I'm exactly the same and I don't oh, know yeah. if you do this like but when I'm editing I have to print it out and yes. then and then I have a notebook and I rewrite and I write it yep. out again with yes I yes yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm redoing a uh, feature that I need to rewrite right mm -hmm. now. And I had to, I, I tried so many times sitting at the computer and doing it and it just, it, yeah. it, it almost made my creative side shut down. So I had mm -hmm. to print it out and finally figured out if I use post-it notes and wrote, cause it was taking a lot of restructuring and moving yeah. things around and, and all that. And so I made notes with post-its throughout the entire thing and that changed everything it made it so much easier that's awesome <clears throat> so that's like anybody listening just keep trying different things if yep. scared, yeah that's I mean that's a great a great piece of advice if you you can't sit and um you know look at that or if you need somebody to read it out loud and record it and you listen to it you know mm -hmm. just you know different find ways to get your, your voice and, and get it out if you're stuck. I mean, that's a, especially if you're yeah. stuck, find a new way. Um, there's always yeah. a different way. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Um, when you read another writer's script, you know, you're in, like the community, you guys pass around your scripts a lot. Um, what impresses you and what are some things you really don't like? Um, so I, I really enjoy doing that. Um, because it's, I'm always impressed by the creativity of people, you know, if, especially like, you know, for example, reading these scripts, you know, whenever the top five are posted and everybody had the same prompt mm -hmm. and yet our brains all went into <laughs> different places. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing to me, especially when like this where it's not genre required you know mm -hmm. and you know so you may have a horror and a comedy and a drama and and it's all inspired by the same picture so that's always very very impressive to me mm -hmm. um the only thing that I don't like is 
you know, if I, if I know someone is a really good writer, but then, you know, they don't have enough time that time to, to do it, you know, and they end up bailing or uh, they just rush through something. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's good, but not as good as I know you could do, you know, Mm -hmm. but it just, it is what it is. It's happened to all of us. (laughs) Right. Yes. Yes. But at least, yeah, at least getting something out or people kind of, you know, right away, sometimes a day in and they're like, oh, I'm just not going to, send you one. And I'm like, look, I, you you know, if maybe it's because it's not inspiring anything, but I still, you know, try to get people to at least finish and send it into me because you're still, you're still paying for like getting, I mean, it's not free, but you're getting really cheap feedback on a script, you know, and and getting a little something to look at, even if they don't get it in time, I still, you know, I let you do that where if you want to turn it in a little bit later, no, I, I absolutely agree. And, and it's funny because I, I only show the top five where I'm reading sometimes 20 to 30 scripts. (laughs) Right. Yeah. And I can only imagine how, how varied they are, you know? Yes. Yes. So, so they are so varied and, and that's why I'm like, oh my God. And some of these, it's like, oh, so close. And, um, yeah. or something starts off very well. And, and yeah, so I, yeah, I, I totally agree. <laughs> that's just crazy. Yeah. I'm like, what did the, I think, I think one of them in the top five was right. The robot, right? Yeah. The two robots. Yeah. Where I the, if I got to read that one, I think I, I forget whose that was. I mean, I'd have to go back and look, but it was two robots and, and they were fighting over like they, the, all the humans had died and the prompt was, a, <laughs> it was an, it was like a, a, a painting in a museum and they were like, well, you know, how did the, the end of humanity happen? I'm like, oh my God. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, See, I, that's, that's what's mm-hmm. crazy. I mean, it's and we all bring our own experiences and and preferences you know as yes. far as like what we like to write mm-hmm. or read or whatever to it yeah um that is that's one thing that i really like about your competition versus like nyc midnight you know where they give you a genre and some genres i get i'm just like i <laughs> i i'm going to write it but mm-hmm. i already know i'm not getting any points or i'm not moving forward because yep. I'm just not as good in this, you know? Yeah. So yeah, everybody has their own preferences on that stuff. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, and what's a, I mean, just, I mean, it's not a question here, but what's a genre that like you get it and you're like, oh God, like this is. Uh, Horror. Yeah. I I, I love horror. (laughs) I watch lots of horror, Mm -hmm. but apparently I have difficulty letting my mind go there creatively. Mm -hmm. So my horrors are always very um mild I guess in Mm -hmm. comparison and and I can even write one that I think is great and you know it's decent and I get decent feedback but it just doesn't do as well as others because theirs are more horror-y I guess yeah yeah mine mine is always um um mystery or or, or or like suspense for me and I have never gotten either of those and I've been doing every every one of their screenplay competitions both the longer and the short one every Uh single year 2017 and I've never gotten suspense or mystery oh my god you I'm I am jealous (laughs) of that because like the past not this last one but the one before like three Mm -hmm. of them in a row like I got eliminated either it was suspense or thriller were just (laughs) yeah and and because myself I'm pretty bad like I and you're right you don't you have you have preferences I don't like suspense when I watch movies right right I can't I can't provide it you know so (laughs) yep Yep. I understand yeah so Uh, yeah. Um, let's see. So what other tips besides like figuring out, you know, good ways to write, what other tips would you like to give out to our, our new people? Definitely find, um, some writing friends that you trust. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and it's best to find people that are around your level of writing. You know, I mean, you, if we can objectively look at our own stuff and know, you know, I'm not the best that there is, but I'm also mm-hmm. not brand new, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that you find people that are, you know, around your realm so that they can give you, you know, and of course you do want people that are more experienced as well, you know, mm-hmm. but having friends that'll give you honest feedback and know that it won't hurt your feelings yes. and you know that, you know, they're not, 
they're not saying things because, you know, they don't like you or they don't like your writing. It's they want to make it as good as possible. And when you can surround yourself with people like that, you'd be amazed at how much better all of your writing gets, you know? Yes. Yes. No, that's, that's amazing. And, and obviously not the first person to, to provide that feedback because it's really hard depending on what community you're in. It's really hard to find people that are really close to you in this kind of a digital age. It's, you know, it's, it's a great time to do that. And as long as you, you also have to be able to take criticism. (laughs) Yes. Yes. That is a hundred percent true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, and I remember, you know, when you first start out, you think that everything you write, you know, you're, you're, you're proud of it and you think it's great. And then when someone criticizes it, you're like, but that, kind of hurts my feelings you know Mm -hmm. because I thought this was great but when you start when you separate yourself from the words on the page and you just you know want it to be good then then criticism is great you know yes as long as you know it's coming from a place from someone that wants to make it better Mm -hmm. you know it's it's definitely required yeah they are trying to make your stuff better and help you so that's that's kind of how you have to to go at it absolutely all right, yeah. Johnny. Thank you. So where, where can we like currently catch your writing is, do you have a website or is there, we catch you on Instagram or social media or anything like that? Um, yeah, I don't I really, I mean, I'm building a website, um, <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> but, but I probably won't really have my writing notes more for the, the film related stuff. Oh, right. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of getting into that. Um, but I am on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, I really haven't jumped into TikTok yet, but I'm just <laughs> Joni Mitchell on all of those things. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm Joni Mitchell three on Instagram, if I remember right, because, you know, there is a famous yes. Joni Mitchell. So yes. her and her fans take up most of the names. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, no, that's great. <laughs> Well, yeah, we can kind of share that. Yeah, TikTok, not a huge, not a huge thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, so thank you so much. And like I mentioned to everybody before, you can catch her writing in the top five um, and previous uh, winners uh, at thescriptmistress.com forward slash ink winners and read that. And uh, we're just, we just wrapped up January and February is going to go, um, open for registration on Monday. So, oh, awesome. so get into that. It'll be a short, a short month, of course, but I think I'll have, I'll have something fun for everybody. So, all right. That'd well, thank awesome. you. Joni. Yeah. Thank you. It was great to talk to you. Such a great interview, right? Uh, so again, you can find Joni on Instagram at Joni Mitchell three. <laughs> you can also read her work and the other finalist work from December at www.thescriptmistress.com forward slash ink winners. Uh, we have all the previous months on here in this new reboot for the ink to screen. So if you want to read some really great uh, finalist work, then head on over there. Now, I wouldn't leave you without having a writing action. <laughs> so this is kind of a fun one inspired by Joni. Um, So really, if you're feeling stuck on your current project, whether you're writing a feature, a short, um, a TV pilot, or anything like that, let's take some advice from Joni and research like three different fun ways to get yourself unstuck. Even if it's something that you've never tried before, or maybe you have tried it and it hasn't worked, try it again. Kind of see how it goes. A, maybe try writing your scenes out on note cards and and taping up and them up so you can see them um, or your characters. Print out a few pages and edit with pen and paper. That's something that I like to do. I print everything out and then I have a notebook and then anything I need to edit, I will just write on the notebook and it, it really kind of helps solidify things. That's a lot of fun. Or you can have some family or friends read a scene out loud for you to really get a feel of the pacing and kind of hear like the cadence of your characters as well. I know not all of us are are in um, acting families, but again, just hearing it out loud, whether they can act or not, is is really helpful. So try to find three of your own fun ways. Maybe really try um, some new ways if you're feeling stuck. And and please feel free to share your insights or or some of the ways that you found that have really helped you um, on our Facebook page at um, facebook.com forward slash ink to screen, the number two. 
And you never know if your insights or your tips or anything like that will inspire someone else or help any new beginning writers at all. Now, I do have many freebies for you guys. I have an outline template. I have um, a log line workbook. Um, I also have the the 12-month um goals, smart goals for your writing. Um, Again, and those you can kind of mix around even if you wait until February. Anyway, um, for this episode, I really thought that the outline template would be really helpful. Um, Joni does mention that, you know, sometimes outlining kind of really helps her as well. So please download that from the website um, page or from the episode webpage, um, thescriptmistress.com forward slash scene 18. Or you can go right to the outline page, scriptmistress.com forward slash outline, and you can get it all there as well. So I just want to help you out totally free, um, just little things to help you, fillable PDF. Or if you're like Joni and I, we totally love printing stuff out and writing stuff down on with pen and paper or pen and pencil. So um, just depends on what you like. Thank you so much for listening and or watching these little snippets here. You know, I truly value any feedback. If you have an idea for a podcast that might help you in the future, you can email me at amber at the scriptmistress.com. Like and follow this show wherever you are listening. Talk soon. And until then, happy writing.